In case you missed it, in the last episode we picked up a camper van and we drove up the beautiful east coast of Tasmania. Today we're heading inland towards the mountains where we're going to see waterfalls, 400 year old trees and finally meet these little devils. Oh they're so cute! <laughs> Thank you. We are celebrating a very cold birthday this year. We're in Cradle Mountain and it's freezing. Yeah, it's a lot colder here than it was on the East Coast. We had a lovely sunny 24 degrees and now it's three degrees. But we're off to do Dove Lake Walk. Part of it's closed, but should still be beautiful. Yeah, it's voted one of the top walks in Tasmania, so I'm excited. That is beautiful. <laughs> wow. Look at the water. We've got Cradle Mountain in here. Stunning. What a walk for a birthday. Huh? Yep. I feel like I'm in Switzerland or something. We celebrated some of Loz's birthdays in some very special places. Last year we were in a helicopter flying around Sydney Harbour. Yeah, that was amazing. And we've also had one in Thailand where we were at an elephant sanctuary. That was very good, very special. And this year we're in Tasmania walking around this beautiful lake. It's very, very special. Yeah, we're very lucky to be able to see such beautiful places. What a birthday. Here's a look at this. At this. View. There we were moaning. Ah, that is freezing cold. Now we're boiling. The walk's a six kilometer loop around the lake, but unfortunately the last kilometer is closed for construction. Yes, yeah, so you, uh, you can pretty much walk all the way around it, apart from the last kilometer, so then you have to loop all the way back. So if you do that, Probably like minute, a 10 minute. <laughs> yeah, but at the visitor centre they said that you can just walk up to one of the walking tracks, which is about halfway, and then turn around and come back. So that's what we're going to do. There's any fig trees in there. We've made it halfway around the lake, so I think it's time to turn around and go back. If you're coming to Tasmania, I would 1000% recommend that you do this walk. It was stunning. Yeah, definitely. But you do need to remember if you're planning on coming here or any national park in Tasmania, you have to buy a national parks pass, which allows you entry into all of them. And also it includes the shuttle bus to get here. So it is well worth it. Yeah, you can't get here otherwise without a shuttle. This is home for the night. We're staying at the Discovery Parks in Cradle Mountain. It is really, really nice. They've just had new amenities built in, so everything's really new and clean. And we'll show you that in a bit, but we definitely paid a premium. It was about $100 just for the powered site per night. Split between four, that's not too bad, but I would 100% recommend staying here. It's in a great spot right by the visitor center. You can just sit up and then you don't need to drive anywhere. So yes, it is really, really nice. It's time. What better way to spend your birthday in Tasmania than seeing the famous Tasmanian, Tasmanian Devils. Devils. This is something we've been wanting to do for ages. So we're here at Devils at Cradle where we're doing a after dark feeding tour. After dark when it's still nice and bright. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. Just a few things I need to cover up for you tonight. Um, firstly, a few words of wisdom and a few words of warning. Uh, we are going to be going around and feeding three carnivorous marsupials. Uh... It's time to feed the devils. Good. I would highly recommend you go Devils at Cradle. We learned so much about Tasmanian Devils. They have got the strongest jaw, pound for pound. They're marsupial, so 
the same sort of mammal like a koala they have a little pouch that they raise their babies in and, but sadly in the wild a lot of them have got this cancerous tumor killing them off so they're having to get all these breeding yeah the whole point of the sanctuary here is that they're trying to get a good population of them a couple thousand because if the worst would happen that they start to go extinct then they've got a really good population of them to put them into the wild exactly so it's very important the work that they do so go and support them if you're in cradle mountain and she literally she knew so much and she was talking to us for about an hour and a half about not just tazzy devils but quolls as well which we'd never even heard of but they were very cute and fun fact for you if you're wondering why they're called tasmanian devils main reason is because of the noises that they make they are screamers they scream and scream and scream <laughs> Laura's just on the phone to back home saying happy birthday yeah. but we've come out for dinner at the only restaurant we could find in Cradle Mountain yeah, well, we at yeah. Pepper's Resort it's a hotel and I don't know caravan park that kind of thing but they've got a bar and bistro as well so you've got to go out for dinner on your birthday Cheers! Cheers. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Birthday to you. It's so embarrassing. Delish. Another chilly one here in Cradle Mountain. But before we head off, thought we would show you the facilities that we were talking about. So right next to all these powered sites, there's this new block that they've just built. Got all your firewood down here. Firewood four. There's a really nice chill out area with some sofas and some benches. Got a microwave, a kettle, a few hobs, electric barbecue. And then out here there's proper gas barbecue and pizza ovens, more barbecues. Literally there's just so much. And then I'll show you the showers and toilets because they are super nice. If you go camping in Australia much, then hopefully you're gonna agree with me about these facilities. But how good is it to have a burning hot shower when you're camping? From one mountain to another, we've left Cradle Mountain and we're heading to Mount Field. Field. Mount Field. Last stop in Tasmania. At our final campsite for Tasmania and we're in Mountfield National Park. We got here a little bit too late, we wanted to get a powered site because they're really cheap here, only $20 a night. It's still really nice here, we got an unpowered site underneath these trees, it's really beautiful. There's this little creek down there, there's some wallabies jumping about and yeah there's some really nice walks that we're gonna hopefully do tomorrow around some waterfalls. Should be a good finish to Tasmania. Oh yeah. This is the walk we're going to do today, the three fourths circuit, two and a half hours. We're going to see one, two, three waterfalls and some tall trees. Got our coffees and we're ready to go. These seem like already tall trees. I wonder what they're gonna, how tall they're going to be when we get to the tall trees. You know? Look at this ginormous tree trunk. Wow. That was probably one of the nicest waterfalls we've ever seen. I felt like it should be in like a spa or something. It was really beautiful. And it's only a 10 minute walk from the visitor center in Mountfield National Park, so don't miss it. This is Horseshoe Falls, which is the second of the three falls we will be seeing today. 
can't believe we only just found out today that there used to be tigers in Australia. Tigers, did you know? They're actual tigers, but they don't look like your normal- Bengal tigers. Yeah, Bengal tiger. They look more like, I think they look more like a dog with stripes on it. Yeah. But they used to live in like the Tasmanian bush, but they got extinct, extinct. in 1936, which is very sad. How crazy. Tigers in Tasmania. No, they used to just live around here. So they figure out the height of the tree by using one of those clinometers, clinometers, and use a trigonometry to figure out the height of the tree using the angle, which was 50 degrees. 71 point something meters. That is a tall tree. Uh, it's a tall tree. Wow. This tree was here when Abel Tasman visited the island in 1642. That is an old tree. So this tree is like nearly 400 years old. At least. Beautiful. This is Lady Baron Falls, which is the third waterfall on this track. And it's stunning. This really <laughs> reminds me of Avatar. These little trees. You stick your tail in it. Yeah, we can connect. And to finish off this lovely walk, we have to climb about 240 steps. So let's get that. Walk was super, super nice. Highly recommend. 100%. And it wasn't too hard. Most of it's like flattish. Tasmania, eh? I know. My last day. Some crazy walks here. I don't want to leave. I could easily spend like a few more weeks. Yeah, here. easily. I wouldn't say that about one bat. Okay. Last night in Tasmania, we obviously have to play some games. So we've got Uno that we bought in Japan like three years ago. You can see it's a little bit battered. Super Mario. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> and just like that. that. Time in Tassie is over. Very sad, but would 100% you recommend going to Tasmania. It's completely surpassed our expectations. 100%. If you're ever in Australia or if you're in Australia now, make sure you go. The weather is so-so, but the walks. Yeah, makes it so worth it. The beaches, everything. There's it's so much to do here. Everything. We'll see you in the next one.